It's your boy Nirgun in the house back with another bang on video. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was an unbelievable live, guys. Unbelievable it was. But let's just jump into the situations because I've got really unbelievable news for you guys. The first one is, did you know when Granit Xhaka was 16 years of age, he tore his ACL ligament. He actually questioned if he were to play football again and considered schooling internships. One of the Swiss under-17 World Cup players got injured. He was called up played and won Switzerland the tournament. His fate was set then to actually lead his country. Well, moving on. Well, whose family who negotiates the contracts has been told that he will keep his job, although Arsenal is reviewing its management and training structure amid concerns that the club has grown limp. Several scouts have been fired in the last month and we all know the redundancies. The, it's, 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 it's been a painful time for all Arsenal fans. But... Here's something that Gabriel Martinelli has said, something that you guys will love to listen to. He says, I want to win the Champions League and domestic titles to make Arsenal fans happy. They deserve the best, not only the supporters, but all the staff. I'd like to give the back. I'd like to give back after everything they've done for me and become a Gunners legend. Unbelievable from Gabriel Martinelli, man. Well, moving on. Well, talking about more stuff. Well, let's talk about Mesut Ozil because Arsenal are offering Ozil around to many clubs. Galatasaray received an official letter from Arsenal signed off by Raul to give permission to Galatasaray to open talks with Ozil and convince him to join them. The letter included contract contact of Ozil and his manager. So yes, yes, if you believe that, yes, Arsenal are not trying to uh, make sure that Ozil is off. Yes, they are doing that. Well, Lucas Podolski has opened up about the whole Ozil situation at Arsenal. He says, it's a shame we have this situation because everyone is losing. Ozil is sat in the stands. Arsenal are paying him and there is no winner at all. Well, six days till Arsenal return to pre-season and 13 days to face Liverpool in the Community Shield. The FA Cup final feels like just yesterday. Unbelievable, man. But let's talk about Vinay Venkatesham. He says, those two, Arteta and Edu, are the experts. They have a very, very clear plan about how they want to rebalance our squad in the short term, in the medium term and in the long term. We're starting to work on that immediately in this transfer window. We've been active in the market and we saw recently they, that we bought, brought in Villian and we'll continue to work hard this transfer window. We'll continue to work hard to deliver on our objectives to strengthen the squad and Edu. Mikel have a clear a plan around how they'd like to do that so yes unbelievable well Arsenal are among the clubs who have shown interest in Felipe Anderson Arsenal's technical director Edu is apparently a huge fan of him and let's see how things will turn out for uh, exactly well Jeffrey Adelaide has uh, actually opened up about in his Instagram story that Serge Gnabry my bro see you soon so yes these two youngsters played for the Arsenal and these guys are definitely going to face each other in the next round of UEFA Champions League Unfreaking unfre believable. Well, let's talk about it. This is the match day fixtures. These are the match week dates. Well, you can see all the match weeks when exactly will be played all the games. It's going to be a cramped up situation. The whole uh, schedule will be really cramped up and it has been suggested. There are lots of rumors that our first Premier League fixture would be Manchester United away. So if it is Manchester United, uh, uh, then maybe the referee won't feel the pressure to cheat from the whole, for the home team. Then it's game on. So let's see how things will turn out. Well, moving on. When I also went on to say that uh, if you're Arsenal Football Club and you're in the Premier League, there's two trophies that really matter and that's the Premier League trophy and the Champions League trophy. That has to be the objectives of a football club like Arsenal. Unfreaking believable, man. Well, let's talk about more stuff. Let's talk about Liverpool. Actually, they've actually suffered a big setback ahead of the Community Shield clash with Arsenal because they won't be flying to Evian for a warm weather training camp. Well, they have been forced to change their training preparations ahead of the Community Shield against Arsenal. Well, they will play each other, uh, Arsenal and Liverpool. And after a short break of only 20 days, Liverpool were planning a warm weather trip, but those plans have been disrupted. It is understood that a training camp in, camp in Evian, France, was set to take place next week as part of the preparations for the new season. However, it was announced on Thursday by the UK government that France will be added to the UK's list of countries requiring people to isolate for 14 days after returning starting this week. Uh, this uh, when the group meet on August 15th. So that's why Liverpool cannot travel. So moving on. Well, the Community Shield double header men's and women's are, are already confirmed. Liverpool play Arsenal in men's edition by, while WSL champions Chelsea take on Manchester City with both games at Wembley on August 29th. It's really unbelievable. Well, let's talk about Kim Little. Well, uh, actually, she underwent surgery on a foot uh, injury back in February, but now she's fit and raring to go in the UWCL. Well, she said, I had a surgery in Feb 
and I've obviously been rehabbing most of the time during the pandemic, being away from the club. I came back into the preseason ready to go with the team. So I've just been progressing my fitness and getting back to the team training, the football aspect and the contact. I am in a good place and I'm ready to go. We had a quite a few injuries just before the pandemic. The squad was a little bit limited in terms of the numbers. But now obviously with that time away from football, we've all been able to recover well and come back into training to be ready to play. So it's really great that she's back and I hope she brings the UWCL title to Arsenal. Well, moving on. Well, talking about it, Gerard Lopez has opened up about, you know, everyone has already, uh, already everyone has labeled Nicola Pepe as a failure at Arsenal. Here, here, hear me, hear exactly what Gerard Lopez has to say. He says, when asked about whether uh, he thought that Pepe's transfer had anything to do with Sanyehi's departure from the club, he says, I think it is made up stuff. I know for a fact he has an excellent relationship with the club and they left on excellent terms. There are always going to be stories that they try to be interesting. Arsenal are going to going through a restructuring which is part of what happens. He is a great guy. It is a great club. And as far as I can see, they both, Arsenal and Sanyehi, respect each other immensely. But also he said they have a, a player in Pepe where people forget his age and the fact he took one season to click within our system and then became the player which we all know. He has got... Uh, he has had a good second half of the season at Arsenal and he is one of the rare players who can make th something happen from nothing. The more comfortable he gets at the club, the more he will make things happen. So I think the best is yet to come. We, we, uh, and That's unbelievable, man. And also, Arsenal have offered £28 million, the highest bid to Lille for Gabriel. And he is now on the pole. The Frenchman, the French club has a gentleman agreement with Napoli, but the time is about to expire. Head-to-head, -head, Arsenal is winning it. That is what I, I, got, I got the initial confirmation. But according to Calcio Mercato, Gabriel has agreed personal terms with Arsenal and Nap and um, Lille have agreed the, the fee that Arsenal have offered for Gabriel. So I think Gabriel would be announced as a done deal very, very soon. Also, uh, he said that he's one of the uh, players we allowed to exit the club this summer. He asked for it. Uh, he's talking about Gabriel and wants to try something else. We clearly told him what our expectations were. We spoke to a number of clubs. Our expectations were met by a number of clubs and we've given him time to decide. It's going to be entirely his decision. We tend to try and steer our players in certain directions. But at the end of the day, it's the player's decision. I know he's going to make a decision early next week. He is a real fighter and has immense physical presence but knows how to use it smartly. He is still raw. I know the Brazil national team are looking at him very seriously. I think he is at the start of something big and he does everything to succeed. Also, let's talk about Thomas Partey. It looks like the deal can be done in a in, in couple of weeks or probably a little more than that because it looks like Thomas Partey has agreed a four-year deal personal terms with Arsenal. It's all that Arsenal have to just throw the money at Atletico and make sure that Thomas Partey is an Arsenal player. We just have to be patient with that. And I, I hope that it is going to be party time for all the Arsenal fans. Raul Sonia, he left his role as Arsenal's head of football after it became clear the club was placing greater control of transfer in the hands of head coach Mikel Arteta and technical director Edu. So the power actually rests in these two people now. Well, Pep and Arteta were very interested in scouting Hossem Awar when they were at City. And even rumours suggest that Arteta personally met Hossem Awar in 2008. So talking about it, Pep said when Awar has the ball, they have more patience, they have more touches after yesterday's game. So you can understand Pep definitely considers Hossem Awar as a very important target, but I think his midfield is stacked. If Gundogan, if Gundogan leaves, I think there's a chance. But moving on. Bayern Munich are interested in Arsenal midfielder Joe Willock. Well, yes, Bayern Munich are interested in signing Joe Willock from Arsenal. Well, I'm unbelievable, man. I'm really shocked about it. Well, moving on. One more big hint that, uh, you know, Gabriel's career with Lille is over. Well, Gabriel is not expected to start in today's friendly match with Brest. Barring a last-minute U-turn, Lille will start with Yo Yo Jose Fonte and Sven Botman partnership at the back. Brazilians exit edging closer, but no clear timeline on a final destination decision yet. So you just have to wait and watch. Well, unbelievable, man. This is uh, Aurelio de Laurinaitis. I mean, Calcio, Calcio Marcato cannot be wrong here. 
Also, Obama Yang has actually posted something really cryptic, but I, I, we all know what it means. He's actually uh, an hourglass emoji. He's actually shared on his uh, official so social media accounts. I saw it on Twitter. Him actually commenting about um, you know an hourglass. So I think he's suggesting something. For me, I think he's already signed the signed the thing. So I believe that yes, he's he's, he's he's hinting. He's very notorious. He's been very notorious in actually doing that in a lot of time. So I believe I think Obama Yang is a done deal, man. I think it's done. Well, let me talk about something special. Um, Ian Wright has opened up about Willian signing to Arsenal. He says, there's people talking about Willian, his age and his contract. But you only need to listen to Mikel and how Mikel speaks about a player like Willian. It's short term, but when you look at where we are and financial constraints, I think that it's a magnific magnificent signing. When you look at someone of his caliber, last season he was excellent. He didn't play as often as he'd like, but every time he played, he brings something, creates something. So according to Ian Wright, yeah, well, he's he's definitely excited to see Willian play in an Arsenal jersey, man. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day, twice. So sit back, relax, and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. And don't forget to subscribe. We are on a mission of reaching 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.